Hello and welcome. If you are looking for a software engineer position, you probably have known the importance of building projects. Having the right projects on your resume will put you ahead of other candidates and you will have a very high chance to land a $100,000 software engineer job. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 5 options for your Python personal projects. But I'm not gonna give you the ideas that you will forget overnight. What I want you to take away is the blueprint of why these projects are useful. Even if you decide not to be the same projects, you will understand what should work for your resume. So without further ado, let's dive in. First, you should understand why projects are extremely helpful for your job search. Recruiters are looking for evidence of whether the candidate gets a seat in the job. They want someone who can solve problems and is technically capable. So when you build your projects, try to pick an idea that is easy to understand and lean towards problem solving. When you show that you are a capable problem solver, it's much easier to talk about the project and you will make more impact on the recruiters. The projects that I mentioned here are Python projects, so you need some Python knowledge to be able to complete them. I have made another video about how to learn Python fast, so if you are new to Python, check out the video. Number 1. Spell Checker A spell checker is a tool that you can use to check basic grammar in a text file. Actually, this is the first project that I built. It only took me two weeks and it was pretty simple to build. All I used were reading and writing files, basic data structures like dictionaries and lists, and how to use command line arguments. This project is suitable for beginners because you don't need much experience to complete it. You can set basic grammar rule at first. For example, you can check for words that have one missed character. Then, you can increase the difficulty of the rules and implement more sophisticated functionalities. Moreover, this project is easy to understand, so you won't have a hard time explaining it to the recruiters. Recruiters prefer something simple and effective, so I can guarantee this project will impress them. When you have some experience with Python, you can pick a harder project. Python is a powerful language for backend development with two popular frameworks, Django and Flask. You can use them to build an e-commerce website. In this project, you could be an e-commerce store that allows users to browse and add items to the shopping cart. Then, the user can check out and complete the purchase. This project will teach you a lot about backend development, especially REST API and SQL databases. From my own experience, these are the two main tasks that a backend developer will do on a daily basis. When I was a software engineer intern at Redfin, my daily tasks were migrating data into the database and building backend APIs. You will also learn how to use third-party APIs as well. For an e-commerce store, dealing with online payment is a must. Services like Stripe and Blade will help you get a job done. After you complete your backend logic, you probably want to test your work on a front-end UI. You can build it yourself, but the way I recommend is finding a team on Team Forest and make your backend engine support that team. And finally, building a website gives you a chance to play around with cloud services. The most popular cloud service in the market is AWS, an online cloud platform from Amazon. It offers tools such as compute power, database storage, and content delivery services. With AWS, you will learn how to deploy your website so that other people can use it. When I build my resume project, I always want something that's meaningful to me so that I can talk about it more passionately during the interview. For me, I love music, so building a music player is an exciting project. This is a music player that I built. I can play, pause, unpause, and stop songs. I can move forward and backward between songs in the playlist. The songs can be shuffled. And here's a time slider that allows me to see the song duration. There are two main technical aspects that you will learn in this project. The first one is building a desktop UI. For this project, I use the Pygame library to do that. Pygame is an excellent library for building UI components. And secondly, you will learn how to handle audio files. There are many ways that you can do this. You can store it in your local machine, or you can use third-party services 
like Spotify and Apple Music. If you are into data science, I highly suggest you build a housing price prediction project. In this project, you will take in several parameters like the area, the number of bedrooms, the location, etc. to predict the price of an apartment. You can play around with many regression models such as linear regression and logistic regression. These are fundamental data science concepts, so knowing them by heart will give you an advantage in an interview. A very important thing that you will learn in this project is data preprocessing. You will learn how to deal with outliers, missing data, and duplicate data. Last semester, I took a machine learning course with a professor. My professor used to be an engineer at Google, and he said 90% of a data science project is used for data preprocessing and data cleaning. So having these skills under your belt is absolutely crucial for a data scientist. You can take this project one step further by deploying the model to a REST API using Flask and build a basic UI to interact with the model. Machine learning has become more and more popular as AI is making a lot of progress. If you want to become a machine learning engineer, having an object detection project on your resume is an absolute killer. In this project, you will be a machine learning model to detect objects in a scene. If you are a beginner, I highly suggest you use pre-train model like YOLO and Mass RCNN. You can go one step further by building a convolutional neural network. This requires more advanced knowledge and it could take you more time. But if you want to deepen your understanding about machine learning, then building a model from scratch is the way to go. I used to be a neural network to detect emotions on human faces using the VGG architecture. It was a fun project and I learned a lot from it. And there you have it. These are the five projects that I found useful for Python developer. However, it doesn't matter how many project ideas that I give you. If you're not willing to put in the work, you won't see any result. So stop watching videos and start building something. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. That support the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.